Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I've got a tag for you, it's the Let's Get Outside with Books tag. So before getting into the tag proper, um, I thought I would show you my favourite reading spot in the garden, which I think I've talked about in videos previously, um, but I don't think I've ever shown it. So this is a little bench at the top of the garden, um, nicely kind of secluded, um, and it gets a lovely sun, as you can see, in the mornings, um, through to kind of lunchtime. Um, there's a lovely bit of sun here, and then in the afternoon, when, when the sun's been out for a while and it's warmer, um, you get a bit of shade here so it's perfect it's my favorite reading spot in the world um, i'm sitting here this morning with manhunt by gretchen falcon martin which is very good indeed um, and enjoying uh, reading in the warmth of the sunlight and being joined by the cat who has just jumped up i don't know if she's on camera or not um, but you can probably hear her meowing she is with me anyway um, she often joins me out here for morning reading um, and cuddles so this was created by the wonderful Sandy at Miss Reads A Lot uh, and I was tagged in it by Greg at Another Bibliophile Reads. Um, I will put links to both their channels in the description for the video. You should definitely check them out. They're both fantastic booktubers. Um, Sandy reads more kind of literary, uh, like modern literature type stuff as well as classics. Um, so, you know, not uh, there's not a huge crossover, shall we say, between what Sandy reads and what I read, although there is a bit of one. Um, Greg reads a lot of literary type stuff, but also reads um, a lot of you know pulpier stuff as well. So more of a more of a crossover there, perhaps. Um, so anyway, let's get on with the questions. So the first question is, um, what is one of your favourite books uh, about or set in the outdoors? Um, and for this one, I've gone with A Summer Book by Tove Janssen, um, which is a lovely short novel um, set on an island in Scandinavia um, about a, um, a young girl spending the summer with her grandmother and about her kind of exploring the island and, and just, you know, getting in touch with nature. And it's a really lovely book about that, uh, you know, which, which reminded me of that wonderful childhood wonder um, about the natural world um, you know which I think we all have and we tend to lose as we get older um, because you know there are so many other distractions in our lives um, but yeah that 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 wonder of you know plants growing and, and and you know animals and you know all that stuff it's a really lovely book definitely recommended okay next question is uh, winter dance so this is the story Gary uh, of Gary Paulson running the Editorod, I probably pronounced that wrong, um, for the first time, even though he isn't particularly good at it. Do you have a hobby or skill that you keep attempting, even if you're not particularly good at it? So I'm tempted to say uh, YouTube, <laughs> because I still don't think I'm very good at it. Um, I keep I keep trying though, I keep trying, and I keep find, trying to find little ways to make my videos better. Whether they're working or not, um, I don't know. Um, but in, in keeping with the outdoors theme, um, the other one I would say is paddleboarding. Um, so I live um, near the sea um, and we bought as a family a paddleboard um, last summer um, which we've been out on a few times. My wife and son are far far better at it than I am and, and also um, far more at home in the water than I am so I'm not a, uh, not a good swimmer um, and you know I don't mind being in the water but um, I don't love it in the same way that they do so my son in particular is fantastic on the pedal board now um, I definitely need more practice I'm able to kind of kneel upright on it and get about um, but if I try and stand up it's it's all over and I get very wet um, okay question three um, so this is themed around the book Wild um, so this is the story of Cheryl Strayed hiking the PCT I don't know what the PCT um, after the death of her mother. Recommend a book where the central theme is dealing with grief. Um, so for this one, I've chosen a book I have talked about on the channel before, which is Michael Rosen's Sad Book, which is a wonderful book. So it's a picture book, um, but it is probably the most moving book I have ever read. Um, it's a, um, you know, as I say, a picture book. So it's only short, but it's about Michael Rosen, who, if you don't know him, is an English um, children's author and poet. Um, it's him writing about his, uh, how he, well, not even came to terms with it, about him dealing with the loss of his son who died as, a, as an adult. Um, and it's just heartbreaking, a really wonderful book. Um, 
Okay, next question then, so question four. Into the world, um, so he follows Chris McCandless who travels to remote Alaska and unfortunately passes away in the wilderness. Does the idea of living off the grid or away from society appeal to me? Appeal to you? So th I think the answer to this is yes, but. So it does appeal to me in that I'm a very solitary person um, and I can quite imagine being, you know, happy, uh, locked away from society with lots of books and a nice garden to sit in. Um, but that said, whilst that is something that appeals to me, I do know from experience that if I am away from people for too long, I, I do start to feel it. So even though I'm, you know, a strong introvert um, and always need time to recharge after spending time with people, um, I also know that I do need to spend time with people um, at times. Otherwise, I just go too too into myself. So I think yes, but is the answer to that one. Um, question five, A Walk in the Woods, the story of Bill Bryson um, and uh, Cats, someone, uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail. Um, what is a book with a really interesting friendship? So the answer I'm going to give for this one is I think maybe a bit of an obvious one, but I, I couldn't think of another book or series of books that... I think does friendship in such an interesting way as this. And that is The Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Um, I think what's wonderful about that series of books is all the different friendships that, that happen um, as the story goes on. Um, so you get you know many, many friendships that which kind of grow and face challenges and things like that, where people from you know opposite sides of the conflict become friends. Um, so I'm thinking of um like uh, Brienne of Tarth and uh, Jamie Lannister, for example. I think that's a wonderful friendship. I think the friendship between um, uh, Tyrion Lannister um, and Lord Varys is great as well. So I think there's lots of really interesting friendships there where, you know, people who you wouldn't expect to be friends, uh, you know, really make a connection and that, that friendship, you know, lasts. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I, I think the friendships in that series are, are great. Uh, next Question then, Adrift, the story of Stephen uh, Callahan's time lost at sea. Do you like the water? So referring back to my earlier answer about the paddleboard. So yes, I do like the water. So we live near the sea. We've got a river near us as well. Um, I love going down to the sea and I love looking at the sea and I love looking at the river. Um, and I enjoy having a dip in the sea, um, but I'm not a strong swimmer at all. So um, I don't um, I enjoy being in the sea, but I, but I don't swim much. Um, but yeah, I love uh, I love the ocean. I love the openness of it. I love being able to look out and see the horizon. Um, you know, for the for the full width of my view, I think there's something very wonderfully freeing about uh, about that that sense of your place in the world when you can see you know you can see everything in front of you. If that makes sense, I think it does. Um, Next question then. So Hatchet, fictional story of a young boy who's in a plane crash while travelling to Alaska and has to survive with only a hatchet. What is your favourite survival story? Now, anyone who's watched the channel for any length of time should be able to answer this question. It is, of course, the Survivalist series by Jerry Ahern, which I'm working my way through at the moment and is cheesy as hell, but absolutely brilliant. So the story of um, one man alone in the uh, post-apocalyptic wilderness of America trying to get back to his family um, and fighting um, both, uh, you know, kind of mutant cannibals and um, and invading Soviet soldiers. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic stuff. I love the Survivalist series. Um, OK, next question then. A perfect storm, the story of fishermen that were lost at sea during a huge storm. Do you like stormy weather? I do quite enjoy a good storm. I, I like the that sense of kind of the pressure building up um, and then the storm coming and breaking it. And I do enjoy, you know, looking out the window and seeing a bit of thunder and lightning. There's something about that, that you know, the power of nature um, that you witness in a storm. Uh, I think it's a wonderfully grounding reminder um, of, you know, how small we are as individuals in the world. Um, I do have a friend who is, so I like storms, but you know, I only like them. I have a friend who's obsessed with storms and, and the weather and will travel, you know, many miles if there's a big, if there's a decent storm nearby um, to take photos of it and, and be part of it. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't like it as much as he does, uh, but I do. I do quite enjoy a storm. OK, final question then is to tag some friends. So I cannot remember who's done this tag and who hasn't. I think it's been a while, around for a while. So I'm going to guess that a reasonable number of people have done it. 
Um, so I am not going to tag anyone directly um, in this one, but I'm going to open it up. If you're watching this and you haven't done the tag yet, um, I would love to see your answers to it. So that's it for this tag from me. Thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, hope you're safe and well. Hope you're really good stuff, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.